Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. The price of strategic connections. What does it take to scale new heights in the spirit and in destiny? Price number five. The price of strategic connections. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, please, from verse 9 and 10. It says, two are better than one. Two are better than one. Why? They have a good reward for their labor. That means your productivity is multiplied to the degree to which you are connected. Verse 10. It says, for if one fall, the other one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he had not another to help him. Listen, there are many kinds of connections in your life, but there are strategic connections that define your life. I'm going to give you two of them very quickly. Number one is Nehemiah chapter 2. The first 11 verses will not read everything. The Bible talks about Nehemiah who was the cupbearer of the king. Artaxerxes, that kind of name. I don't know why he didn't give us a shorter name. I will call him the king of Persia so that I can have my peace to preach. Are we together? <laughs> and it came to pass in the month Nisan, the 20th year, remember our king again, the king of Persia, that wine was found before him and I took up the wine. I gave it to the king. Now, I had not been before time sad in his presence. Nehemiah is speaking now. He says, when the king saw his countenance, he said, Nehemiah, why are you sick? And I, I mean, why are you sorrowful? I know you are not sick. That means Nehemiah was a faithful cupbearer. Notice the transition from a cupbearer to the one who will now build the Jerusalem wall. He looked at the king and he, the king loved him so much. Verse 3, just give us the verses. I can read or explain whichever. He says, why should my countenance not fall when I am here and the place of my father's sepulchers? In other words, I am here and the Jerusalem wall has not been built. Let's go to verse 4. The king said, so what is your request now? Everybody says strategic connections. When you are connected to the king, it's easy for some things to happen fast. Strategic connections. The king said, so what should I do now? He said, I pray to the God of heaven, verse 5. The king said, if it, or he said, if it please the king, and if your servant has found favor in thy sight, send me now to Judah and to the city of my father's sepulchers that I may build it, 6. And the king said unto me, the queen was sitting by him, for how long will your journey be, and when will you return? So it pleased the king to send him. Watch what the king did. I want to show you the power of strategic connections. Moreover, I said unto the king, if it please the king, let letters be given to me, to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over. That means guarantee my safety and support me. Instead of meeting all the governors one by one, I met the king who has influence over them. And I said, king, give me a letter. Are we together? Verse 8. And a letter unto Asaph, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gate of the palace, right? And the wall of the city for the house that I may enter into. And the king granted me according to the good hand of God upon me. Verse 9. It says, then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and the horsemen with me. Say strategic connections. That guy would have died in the forest. He would have died in several places. He knew all the people he would have to meet one by one. And he said, King, you have influence. If I have a relationship with you, all I need is a letter. And look at how the man jumped it. He said, get on my chariot. He sent him with chariot. So every time they saw him, ah, from the king, yes, sir, please pass. Strategic relationships can shorten the time of your arrival to the next level. There are many of us who are meeting people one by one 
and meeting gates and systems one by one we need to pray and say lord in addition to those you have connected with me with bring me to a point where i am connected to kings and gatekeepers in one day they will open a door for you that may take others 10 years are we together generally relationships are profitable but believe me to rise to certain levels in life there are certain strategic connections that will be needed in your life they will redefine everything about your life second kings chapter 5 let's read from verse 1 the bible talks about a man called naaman of the the, the host the 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 king of Syria he said he was a great man with his master he was honorable because by him deliverance had come to Syria the Bible says he was a mighty man but he was leprous let's go to verse 2 the Syrians came and they captured Israel and then a little girl was captured also who waited on Naaman's wife verse 3 now I want to show you something there she said unto her mistress would God my Lord were with the prophet in Samaria for he would recover you are we together Four. so he went in and told the Lord toss and toss this is what has happened let's go to verse 5 the king of Syria said go you see the letter again is it in your Bible now this is a story the little girl is saying my lord or my master or my boss there is a prophet a mighty prophet if you go to that prophet in israel he can cure you of this but i don't think you have the kind of influence to meet that prophet because he's a great prophet and immediately naaman would have gone and said i'm a captain of the army he would have been surprised you see the way elisha treated him he didn't even come out elisha was not a small man the prophets ordained the kings. So these guys were, they had their own pride and pedigree too, unfortunately. Are we together? Now watch what he did. To save him the burden of negotiations and all of this, this is the wisdom of the cosmos that believers must learn. The king of Syria said, go, I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and he took him all of those gifts. Verse 6. He brought the letter to the king of Israel saying, Now when this letter is come to you, behold, I have herewith sent Naaman my servant to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. The remaining is history down to verse 11. Look at how easy it became for the king to be healed, for Naaman to be healed, because he had the endorsement of a great man's relationship. He went to the king and when the king was downcast the news reached elisha quickly and elisha said don't worry send him to me and he will know there is a prophet in israel to cut the long story short the man was healed could it be that many things that look hard in your life now is because the relationship that has the power and the influence and the capacity to accelerate it has not come the price for greater dimensions is the price of strategic connections strategic connections let me tell you the truth it is a good thing for god to give you influence and access to the hearts of kings because it will accelerate your journey economically and otherwise there are people who are heavily defended and blessed there are people who are heavily protected and supported because there are kings there are captains who love them there are men of god in this nation men of god in africa who is not just the pulpit that is protecting them god in heaven is there to defend them but they are they have the jealousy and the loyalty of kings across the globe nations will close and open again for their sake are we learning let me give us the last one so we pray I missed out on the story of the Shunammite woman. There's no time for that. We would have spoken about the Shunammite woman. The same Elisha who came to her and said, what should I do for you? Notice the woman. When she saw Elisha in 2 Kings chapter 4, you find that from verse 8 to 17. When she saw Elisha, she discerned that this was a great man of God. Immediately, she started preparing something to honor him. And Elisha came after a while and said, you've been helping me. What should I do? Should I speak to the king for you? 
he had that authority king help this woman and that would have been it listen not everybody is limited this is a very very sincere statement challenges are not general they are limited as much as people are suffering there are people who with the same letter that letter principle is still working till today in nigeria and across the globe there are people who may be ordinary people but they will carry letters from superior voices with authorities and can take and say listen um i just came to you. who are you i came with a letter from who so, so, so ah okay where do you know him he happens to be my uncle or he happens to be someone god brought to my life are you sure let me see help this person please give him all the support needed sign we'll talk later that's the end of it so what are you looking for i've applied visa 10, ten times it has not worked okay come back tomorrow drop your passport go that's the end of it or okay there's a job given there but i don't have a scholarship uh, for the master's program but it's too late we've closed the door well so so, so person said i should give you please help him we'll talk about your wife's issue tomorrow <laughs> everybody including the king has his area of need the person who can solve the king's problem are we together can get the king's favor too for himself and for others kings have problems they can solve the problems of others, but there are others who can solve their problems. You need both in your life. The kings who can solve your problems and access to the ones who solve the problem of kings. The last one and we pray. Did someone get blessed in church today? So that by the time you are sharing the grace, you, it's a wiser version of you that now lives. You know what to look for. You know what to pray for. Your prayer life now is on fire. Your word life, your passion for God, but you can see the missing links. Ah, this is why my life has clamped down in one place. Spirit, his word was in my bones. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be Holy God's fire!